Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel, and I am the tech savvy business strategist who helps overwhelmed business owners get organized and overcome today's tech challenges so that they can show up, deliver, and engage with their audiences online. Now, if this is your first time joining, welcome. Please be sure to jump into the comments and say hello. Let me know if it's your first time. Say where you're tuning in from, how you found us, all that good stuff. Even if you're watching the replay, I talk to live viewers and replay viewers throughout the broadcast. This is a business talk show. We talk about business, tech, and the user experience because it all matters. And we typically go live Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're still thinking about tomorrow, though. Tomorrow we may or may not show up. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, welcome, Mickey. Welcome. So today's show, we are going to be talking about how you can start making some money off of your broadcasts. And I don't just mean Facebook Live, but I also mean podcasting. How many of you are a podcaster or maybe a soon-to-be podcaster? Let me know, even if you're watching the replay. We'll circle back to that question here in a minute, but that's what we're going to be our main focus today. And before we get into that, though, we are going to talk about random news, which is quite a bit of random news, and it's mostly about Facebook, so I'll just put that out there. So if you have friends that you want to tag and share this broadcast out, please do so. Let them know what's happening because Facebook continuously changes, and we're always trying to keep up. You know, It's one of those things where I got a message actually today, which was awesome, from a couple people actually, uh, but one in particular, they were saying, you know, that they are trying to keep up with with the content and everything that I bring to the table, and they love what they're seeing, and they're really excited about all the things that we do here on the show, and so things and it makes me think about Facebook and how like Facebook's constantly changing and how we're all trying to keep up, you know. We just do the best we can. So welcome everyone jumping in. Please say hello. Oh, by the way, I put in the comments my link to my website, edtroxel.com. That's where you can find out more about me, the Hey Ed community, which is going to get your tech life right and your business life. Trust me. Go take a look at that. Shout outs to Erica. Thank you so much for surprising me today. Uh, Erica is one of our Edsters. Those uh, who are in the Hayed community. They call themselves Edsters. They came up with that name, not me. And uh, they, or she, uh, did a surprise Facebook Live today, which you're going to see on the page down below this. We'll actually talk about that for a second because there's some interesting statistics about that. So we'll talk about that because we've talked about sharing posts on Facebook business pages on previous episodes. Yep, we talked about that. So if you missed it, don't worry. If you're on my email list... Yeah, are you? Because the email comes out tomorrow. So later, you're going to go to edtroxel.com. You'll check out Hey Ed, but you'll also get on that email list because the email goes out tomorrow and you don't want to wait. And then you'll have episodes in your inbox as well as more information about what I do, what I've been up to, and things like that around business and tech. So there's that for you. Uh, welcome, Paula. So happy to see you. Happy Thursday to all of you. And uh, today we'll be talking about that part where I mentioned about Erica. So thank you again for that huge surprise. It was awesome. And then we're going to talk about uh, other changes to Facebook. So that's going to be part of our random news. And then we'll pop over to how you can start getting paid for your broadcasts, not specifically for live, but also podcasting. And technically, I mean, you can use this for anything. So we'll talk about that. But first, Let's get to random news. Hey, Jazz, welcome. How are you? How's everything? Uh, so let's jump into the random news, and we're just going to start off with the Facebook stuff that I got for you because there's a, quite a bit of changes going on, so I'm going to look at my notes here and there. But first off, for this broadcast, I scheduled it out like I normally do, and the typical preview wasn't there. Instead, this showed up. Now, it's not a great photo of me, but can you guess where this photo came from? I'll give you a hint. It's on my business page. Can you guess what this area is, where it pulled it from? Now, while you're guessing, I'm going to tell you that I use the program called Ecamm Live. And on there, they usually will have a black background with a circle, and it's just my face. And then it says, you know, the information here. But at least for this live here, I was going to say my profile, but at least for this live, when I went to schedule this, this is what published. 
And so my guess is, is that Facebook is changing the layout because this is wider and they have the information in a different area here. Notice it looks almost like a Facebook event. The format's very similar. So instead of having the reminder in the middle with the information here, they have made it more um, boxy and more like the events. So this is something that you should be paying attention to. Uh, love the photo. Yeah, thanks, Jess. Uh, but uh, this photo actually is a screen capture from my video that I have in my Facebook header. So remember that if you don't put a photo, for instance, Ecamm Live allows me to put uh, a photo for this, which now I'm going to start using. Before I didn't use it because it was nice. It was just black and then it just had a picture of my face. But now, at least today, it pulled a screen grab from the actual video up top, which I feel like I'm going to change what I have up there because it's been up there for a long time. Uh, but now I can go in and then start replacing this. So something to be aware of for those of you who schedule your Facebook Lives or who will be. Uh, I don't know if it's full blown a new feature, but I'm just sharing what I have found here. Hey, Aaron, welcome. So that's something new. The other thing I want to mention, uh, well, there's a few that I'm going to mention here for Facebook, is how many of you guys have noticed in your news feed, your regular news feed on your personal profile, how many of you have started to notice more business page posts popping up? Anybody? Have you seen more post from business pages that you've liked show up in your main news feed. Let me know in the comments while I prepare my other screen for us. I will tell you that I have noticed that and I thought I was going crazy the first two days because I was like, you know, Facebook, the normal news feed doesn't like Facebook pages. It, it doesn't, right? We, we rarely see posts from our pages that we've liked. But then all of a sudden, earlier this week, I started seeing these pages pop up and I'm like, what? And they weren't ads because I looked, I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just an ad. Nope, it wasn't an ad. And so I sat on it for a day or two and then I realized it wasn't just me. And then I asked some of you guys too and you started noticing it. So be aware that with all the changes Facebook's doing, and of course this can change at any minute, but be aware that if you have your business page up and running, which you should if you don't, you're going to get on that. I know. I know. It's on your list. Uh, then you need to start posting on it. You need to start sharing and getting some posts out to the world from your business page. Hey, Rhonda, welcome. Uh, because it's starting to show up in the main news feed. So Facebook's trying to help us out again. And they know, especially for businesses, and if you were here on a previous episode this week, we talked about how Facebook, and in fact, I even got a notice via email from Facebook, letting me know that my page was going to change in terms of the layout because Facebook just rolled out their new um, format template for Facebook business pages to help local businesses stand out more and get more, basically, attention. So they're starting to roll that out. So they're trying to get that focus back onto those pages for us because enough of us complained that we weren't getting the reach. So why would we show up here? Why would we even engage on our page? Why? Right? Even though for me, I, I from the start, I said, I'm just going to roll with this and I'm just going to really run and hit the ground, uh, hit the ground running, I should say, with my page which is why I didn't go the Facebook group route. I just went straight with my page and wanted to focus on this, which is why you've seen so much organic growth here because I don't have paid ads. And most people were saying, oh, you can't have a business page do well if you don't have paid ads because it's a pay to play area. And I was like, oh, no, I don't know. I'm going to push the boundaries and see what happens here. And so far it's been working for me. I don't pay to play and I have amazing organic growth. So it does work. You just have to put in the time and the effort to it and be consistent. That's a big thing. Hey, Whitney, welcome. Uh, so keep that in mind. Start using your business page if you haven't, uh, because it definitely will pay off. And then when it comes to the other ones, we did the preview for the live. 
Uh, I'm going to show you Erica's post that I shared because it, it ties into what we talked about on a previous episode this week. Um, news page or news feed has page posts, meaning posts from pages that you uh, liked. They're starting to show up in your main news feed. Oh, and then here's the thing, and this may sound familiar to you because it sounded familiar to me. How many of you guys are on LinkedIn? Let me ask that first before I share this, this new feature from Facebook. How many of you guys are on LinkedIn or use LinkedIn at least? I am. I'm on there. I somewhat use it, not effectively and not enough. But LinkedIn, and I don't know when they started this. I'm going to probably say within the last year. It's it's still fairly new. Uh, but on LinkedIn, they actually have some type of mentorship program, Okay. Uh, I don't know all the details, but there's a way for you to be able to connect with people and basically be like a mentor. Hey, Sally, welcome. Um, and it's one of those things that they, they wanted to try to connect people, right, and be able to have that mentorship. So, you know, if you wanted to learn more about starting a business and you're, you're just getting started, you know, you would find a mentor. Uh, and so then they would pair you up. Well, with that, Aaron says, I'm on LinkedIn, but I need to figure out how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> We all do, right, Aaron? Um, and we do have uh, we have a Ed Talk TV episode that's free for people uh, to check out back on the blog, edtroxel.com. Just click on the blog. There is a episode where we had someone uh, who is an expert in LinkedIn that we had info about that. And I can't remember, but we might even have a private training for Hey Ed members in the member portal. I can't remember. We'll have to look at that. But yes, uh, so... LinkedIn has this mentorship program and they, uh, they, I don't know how much they promote it now, but I've seen it and I kind of like tested it out when it first came out. So we'll say within the last year. Well, apparently today, breaking news, uh, Facebook is starting to roll out a mentor program for groups. <laughs> so I don't know all the specific details. I was watching, um, a live, oh, I don't think it was, it wasn't TechCrunch. I can't remember, uh, social media examiner. I want to say maybe it was anyway, I was watching someone's Facebook live talking about this and it was really interesting. They were talking about how they're going to be rolling this mentorship program out to certain groups. Now they don't really specify in terms of Facebook doesn't really specify what group types are going to get this. The three categories they said was, uh, parenting, professional and personal development. For me, I'm like, okay, that that's basically everyone. I, I mean, that covers like every single thing. So I don't really know how we would tell what works and what doesn't there. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, the way it's supposed to work is basically you like there's a template and you fill out some questions and then you'll be able to uh, connect with somebody. And I guess you can work in the group together, but then you can also take it out to a private area as well. It will be interesting to see what happens. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, it just, it's just funny how, you know, LinkedIn had it. Now Facebook has it. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where Facebook goes with it. But we're happy with Facebook right now. We're happy with it. They're, they're okay right now. They're, they're getting off of the bottle. Um, so let me go. The reason why I say that, because, you know, for a while there, we thought they were drinking a little too much Kool-Aid, uh, a spiked Kool-Aid. And so let me go ahead and show you my screen here because here is the uh, live that Erica did earlier today, that, that surprise live I mentioned at the beginning of this broadcast. Erica did a surprise live uh, on her page talking about the Hey Ed community and sharing that with her audience, letting them know about the tech support and the business support that you get throughout the month and how it's an amazing membership program, and you should watch it. It's just really, really good, because it may not, it doesn't do you any justice, me any justice, whatever, just go watch it. <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to point out, though, is look at the reach already, 99 people. Now, I shared this an hour ago, and it's already at 99 people. Now, you might be asking, okay, well, why, why do we care if you didn't watch an episode before? We care because, let me see if I can find the other one that I had. 
Because remember, we talked about on the show not too long ago. Let me bring this back up. We talked not too long ago uh, on the show about how I noticed many of the posts that I share from other accounts on Facebook, meaning keeping people on Facebook. I share an event. Uh, I had that talking, uh, that speaking uh, event last Friday, and I shared that post. And I'm going to try to find that post. And it barely reached, I don't know, 10 people. It was crazy. And yet it was such a good post, yet no one got to really see it unless they were scrolling down the page on my Facebook page. But chances are they're not because how many of us actually go to a Facebook page and check? Look. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I have it. Let me get the screen. Look, 11 people. This was back on Friday at 6.49 p.m. or 47 p.m. Carrie, who I spoke with as well, we took a group photo. She posted it on her account. I shared it. So I'm, I'm sharing the information from one Facebook page to another to help people. 11 people. Then we go up to today where I shared the Facebook Live and we had 99 people. Super cool. Now, uh, what I'm going to point out here is the fact that the all the times that I've tried this, that I've been paying attention in terms of the sharing other Facebook posts onto my business page with the low reach, from what I can recall, all of them, for the most part, were not Facebook Live videos. They were posts. They were events but they were not lives. So this is something that you can test out and see with your page if that works or not. It could have just been the best timing of the day, the best time of day. It could have been the fact that Erica's just amazing and Facebook's like, hey, we're, we're going to help her out. Like we want to get this out there. I don't know, but I wanted to share that with you because like we talk about, we are always testing because there is no... 100% yes, 100% no. It's, mm, it might work. I don't know. Because everyone's profiles are different. Everyone's pages are different. So you have to test for yourself and see what works. You know, uh, that's, that's a big one. So I wanted to point that out that I shared her live, which after an hour has almost 100 people. And yet I shared a post with a photo from someone last week that is at 11 people. And I probably won't see that go up at all because no one's going to be scrolling down the page and waiting for it to load because it takes forever to load a page on Facebook. So just keep that in mind for for whatever you're testing. Another thing, because the reason I'm spending time on this, you guys, by the way, is because our main content is more is just going to be real quick. And I'm just going to share my knowledge with you on that. Because I can't show you the how all the time. That's what the Hey Ed community is for. Um, by the way, what I do here on the show, because that, that's a question I get a lot of the times too, is a lot of people will ask, well, I tune into your show and I learn a lot there. So why would I, why would I need to pay to go to the Hey Ed community? And, and that's a great question. This may be enough for you for whatever you're doing in the moment. But what you see here and what you like here, and what you're learning here, five times, 10 times, 20 times that inside the Hayed community. Hopefully that helps. Um, that, that's, you just get more, you just get more. <laughs> uh, so let me just find the other one that I was going to share with you guys here uh, from my Facebook page, because a lot of you answered this, and I was really impressed with the reach on this as well, because it's important for us to cover this stuff. So check this out. Last night, I shared this post. Nothing fancy. It was just a typical text post with a colored background. Notice that it's very simple. I gave two options and I said to pick one. Look at that reach. 819 people. And it's been less than 24 hours. Now I haven't checked, but that that's quite 
quite substantial compared to most posts uh, on a business page. Then it's got over 40 comments because it was so easy for people to go in and just say why they were choosing. I'll give you examples here. Let me load the comments for a second. If it will load. Come on. Well, we won't wait for that to load. Anyway, the comments will have A, B, A, B. Like, that's literally what they started with. So what do you think, what do you think that I did with all of that? I showed up, I delivered a response so that we can continue to engage. So somebody would say A, which means the website, right? So my response was, what's the, f what's the reason? I was gonna say follow up, but what's, what's the reason for choosing that answer? And then they will respond and we're back. <laughs> so if you're just now tuning in, we had a previous, ep well, we had a live going and then Facebook cut us off. Now part two, we're gonna talk about how you can start making some money off of your broadcasts. Now I will tell you, this is just an idea for you to test and to see what you think about it. But for those of you who are podcasting, which how many of you guys are podcasters? I will tell you I have, technically I have two podcasts. Uh, one was a limited series, at least up to this point, it's still a limited series. We may bring it back at some point later. And then my other one is my current one, which I don't really have a schedule for. I just go on there and drop an episode when, when I feel like it. So there's not really a consistency for that. There is for this show, but not for that show. That's more of just like, it is what it is, you know? But I will tell you that I use and love Anchor. Anchor.fm is an awesome resource for starting your podcast, for hosting your podcast, anything podcast related. You definitely want to check them out if you haven't already. Now, Anchor just launched this listener support, which is very interesting. So Anchor will allow you, and if you don't have it on your profile yet, it's coming, but they're rolling out where they'll allow your profile to have a little button on there where people can support your podcast. And they have it with different options. Choose your support level. A dollar per month, five dollars per month, or ten dollars per month. So people can literally pay you monthly just to support you and what you're sharing. So all that free content that you're giving out, you can actually earn some money back from it. Not bad, right? It's a pretty cool idea. I like it. Uh, there are a ton of details here, which I'll put in the comments. I'll take this and put this in the comments for you guys. But what I want you to um, pay attention to is I love this pro tip. Make sure to ask your listeners to support you in the audio of your podcast episodes too. So it's not just about having this link here. That That's part of it, right? That That's something that starts that conversation because it's on the profile, but you actually have to do the work. You actually have to mention it to your listeners, ask them for support. You know, if you add this to your profile, you're going to let them know, Hey, if you like what you're hearing, go ahead and support my show by clicking on the link in my bio or whatever it, wherever it's going to be at. That's where you have to give that call to action, right? Well, you can do that with podcasting now through the Anchor app. If you're not using Anchor, no problem. I have another solution for you. We won't go too far into it, but I'll, I'll just I'll give you just enough for it, okay? Uh, before we move on, though, I will let you know that they do take a fee, and they do talk about that in this article here. I did reach out to Anchor, though, because I wanted to know a little bit more about the the fee here. Uh, given that Stripe actually is not 5%, but they may be looking at a different level, a different tier, 
But just so you guys are aware, because some of you might be like reading this article and thinking, oh, I didn't know Stripe had was so takes out so much. For a normal Stripe processing fee, they don't. Uh, so don't let this scare you if you have a Stripe account or if you're thinking about getting a Stripe account. That's totally separate from this blog post, meaning you're using Stripe for your credit card processing system for your business. The typical business processing fee for Stripe is still 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. So I just want to put that little disclaimer there that there don't, if this is article you're reading, don't think that this is all the fees for everything that Stripe offers out there, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to confuse you, I just want to put that out there. Now, here's where you can go past being an anchor for a podcast. For those of you who maybe have a live streaming option, like Facebook Live here, maybe you're on Periscope, maybe you are writing blog posts, like literally you could do this next step for anything. What's cool about paypal.me is you can literally take this link, like I just shared in the comments, and send it to anybody, and they can pay you via PayPal for whatever they want. They literally can put in any amount here. Whatever, whatever you want. And they'll know about your business, because here's my business name. Here's a little bit more info about it. And then they can send you money. How cool is that? Now you may notice that I actually have this in the outro slide, which you'll see here shortly, um, that I actually have that. It says, you know, if you're feeling tipsy, if you like what you are learning here, you can head over to paypal.me forward slash Ed Troxel Creative and drop me a tip. I mean, it's there, right? Why not? Why not ask for that? It's one of those things that it feels awkward sometimes, but it's good to be prepared and it's good to have that set up. And I will tell you that I never really put this out in the open like that until shortly after starting my business, I had someone who has uh, f was following my trainings at the very, very beginning, you know, because I just started. They were following my trainings and they had asked me for one. And I said, oh yeah, I have it. Here you go. And the next thing I know, I had $50 in my account and I was like, wait, what? And they're like, I just really appreciate what you bring to the table and I felt like I wanted to repay you somehow and so I wanted to give you a tip. You guys, that changed the game all over the place like for me. I was like, what? That's crazy. That's awesome. That's so cool. So I made sure that I had that link more present just in case. I mean, people can treat you to coffee. They can treat you to whatever they want, right? But if you don't provide the link, then how are they going to know? How are they going to be able to surprise you? You know, so think about that when you are having all of your content and you're, when you're putting your content out there. Again, it's not something where you have to say, you know, but come on, come on. I'm giving you this. Give me some money. No, it's just if you want, you can add that to the end of your blog posts. You can add that to the end of your show in live streaming or in podcasting, like whatever you want. And then it goes through PayPal. So it's a very similar idea that Anchor has now implemented in their platform. Fees are going to be a lot less, I'll tell you that, just from what I'm looking at. Uh, I love Anchor, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of fees going on over there. This is a better option, most likely for you, because you can use it anywhere. So just keep that in mind. And it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys for that part of it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments. So I hope that this was helpful and that you learned something new. What is the Hey Ed community? I'll let them tell you. I'm drawn to this community, Erica, because Listen, I'm going to make sure as a business person, I know you are as well, serious business women, we are, we're going to make sure that we're getting the content knowledge we need from the Hey Ed community, but I also want to laugh. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy my work day, and I know I'll get that balance.
in the hand community. I know he'll, yeah, he'll tolerate our tangents. And I think that's the perfect, the perfect way to have a really good engaged community. It's a perfect balance of business and fun, you know.